Welcome back to the channel. I am Soul, and you can join us over on the Grudmore Heart Discord. Link in the description. Now, we were just talking about this in the last video quite a while ago, but pretty recently, Mashima has given us what I believe to be actual colored artwork of Jalal and Urza's son. I mean, if this is a wedding photo of Jalal, Urza, and their child, plus we have Sorano calling out Jalal and Urza getting married and having kids, then maybe Mashima is finally pulling the trigger and we have a Jerza wedding incoming in 100 Years Quest, not to mention the brand new chapter 127 cover art. Let me know what you all think about that in the comments, and we'll have to get into that new chapter and how it will be animated in the new 100 Years Quest anime, currently in production in just a minute. But first, if you are not caught up yet, make sure and pick up every single 100 Years Quest manga volume over on global.bookwalker.jp. Use my code SOLANI for 5 bucks off any manga on the site. That link is in the description, and you can literally build your entire fairy tale manga collection over there and read along with us so you don't miss out global.bookwalker.jp use code solani all the fairy tale hundred years quest plus original fairy tale volumes are over there along with other mashima works as well i've been reading rave master it's just such such a good series and it's a great place to go pick it up and pick up other stuff from hero mashima now as we were saying since the end of the last arc we've had some amazing beautiful Selene chapters that deserve their own video for their own reasons but we've had a huge focus on Urza to kick things off, starting with Selene's ability to see Urza's mother, Aideen, who she calls the mother of Dragon Slayer magic. As it turns out, Selene is the only one who can free Aideen of her inability to die by sending her to another world. At the same time she disappears, the Urza and Jalal of Edelis have a child, which will honestly be amazing to see in the new 100 Years Quest anime, and is most likely the foreshadowing of our Urza and Jalal having a child. Thing is, the gang has returned home to the guild and then off to Eastern Fior where Sabretooth's famous library resides in search of books on the five dragon gods and suddenly, Yukino's extremely hot older sister constantly in bikini attire, Sorano appears out of nowhere, breasts hanging over the page to get Jalal and Urza back together yet again. Damn, we really need a figure of Sorano at some point, come on, fairy tale gods, please bless us with that. She starts questioning when they're getting married and how many kids they're having. The hard questions we've been yelling at Mashima for years. When the hell are Jerza happening? Please, please tell us. Sonono also asks out Sting, which I could totally see happening, or maybe Sting and Yukino, or maybe Sting just gets with both of the sisters. I guess, I guess we'll find out. Anyways, Sorano drops the details on where they can find the white wizard weapon. They're looking for Athena and an alchemy guild in Giltina, and she's very Eden Zero looking to me. Sorano reveals that she's a doll made with alchemy, we're introduced to some brand new characters, and the big drop, Duke the Gold Owl Guildmaster, is probably going to be a main focus in this upcoming arc. Continuing our shipping of Urza and Jalal, next chapter we find them next to each other on a literal ship alongside the members of Sabretooth to Giltina. Giltina apparently a continent that produces a lot of minerals for alchemy, which we know is going to be this new arc's focus. I actually love seeing some panels of the town and how the world is drawn outside of Fior. But anyways, there's a little grey windy moment that we can save for another time and as the rest of the gang splits up to do their own thing, you guessed it, Jalal and Urza walk through the town next to each other, Urza begging Jalal yet again to join Fairy Tale and probably begging him for something else. You can use your imagination. Obviously dropping hints that she's madly in love with him until they get asked if they're on a date and are captured by a strange man. The same thing seems to be about to happen to Natsu and Lucy, but the chapter ends there and picks up with Natsu versus the coal miners. Typical Natsu OP fight we can pretty much skip over until my favorite part, Jalal pressed up against Urza's armor, just struggling to move against her breastplate. Such a beautiful panel and I loved how they drew Urza. Second best fairy tale girl as always in my opinion and she solves things by you guessed it, completely stripping while Jalal is fully immersed in her chest. So many comment sections asking how they keep on growing. Jalal is probably asking the same, or maybe she's just pregnant. Context clues, guys. And with one jersey a moment after the next, after the next, honestly, how much longer until they actually get married? You all tell me in the comments. I know we can't forget about Lucy all tied up 
If you want a video on that in the next chapter, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and who doesn't love Lucy all tied up? But we'll talk about that in the next chapter. See ya. Tashka ni saishu wa tsumi horoboshi no tsumori de Krimsol Shiel wo tsukutta.